Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. We're just going to see what comes up. This is intended to be a you and the other person reading. We'll see whatever comes up. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November 30th through December 5th? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Ten of Pentacles. Now that is success. It's permanence. It's permanent success. So that's great. Very comfortable. Very comfortable home life. Financial success. Comfort, prosperity, abundance. Family support. Oh, oh, there it goes. Mmm, Empress reversed. Well, that ain't that ain't great. Anyhow, the Empress reversed. This is your column, their column, and the overall outcome. But then again, these columns could be vice versa. The Empress reversed is uh, lack of value. I'm not sure if there's something to do with the child here. There could be some problems with one of your children. Um, Empress reverse, lack of fertility, lack of growth. I'm not, I don't know. There could even be a miscarriage or a loss of a child. I hate to say that. It could be a child leaving home. Okay, because that's home. Just moving, leaving home. Um, anyhow, the Empress reversed. That is a lack of mothering, a lack of nurturing. Somebody is really focused on a home. They're focused on... Their home, they may need to give their children some more attention, you know. Um, <laughs> needy, we have a very needy individual here that is maybe we have an absent mother, you know, there's mother issues as well. Um, there's lack of growth, very, very forceful. Uh, poor housekeeping as well. There's, so, there's something to do with a home. There's a need to uh, nurture something going on here. Two of Cups reversed. Oh my God. So that is a disconnection. There is a disconnection in a partnership. You know, the, the Empress in reverse is an individual that has affairs, you know, that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. We could also have... Um, you know, somebody that is self-absorbed, you know, they're not focusing on a relationship. They're very focused on their job or money or stability. They may be, somebody may be in a relationship just for financial stability. You know, that's what it looks like to me. Um, we got somebody here that is all about the money, but it doesn't look like they're all about love. So there's, there's a, we got a problem here. Um, Two of Cups reversed. That is some sort of, I don't know if you have a broken relationship here. You know, that's what it looks like to me. Um, not really open with the Empress reverse. Somebody is not loving unconditionally. There's, there's a lack of unconditional love here. And I feel like there's mother issues. You know, there's absent mother. There's a, there, there's mother issues, period. Um... Six of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Six of Wands, so Two of Swords, mm. the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor, so Seven of Swords and Reversed on the bottom. So Seven of Swords Reversed is being outsmarted in some way, shirking responsibility, taking credit for somebody else's work. I don't know if there's some sort of blackmail. Somebody may be getting caught. Uh, yeah, so there's some sort of deception here. Somebody may have gotten caught or they may be getting caught. But let's just make sure this is zoomed in first.
We definitely have a disconnection. It feels as though we have a feminine energy here that is very needy. Could be an ex, could be an ex-wife, I don't know. Could be a girlfriend, could be a third party, okay? We have somebody here that is very, very needy, very jealous, very shallow. Uh, loss of a child, there could be a loss of a child, there could be a termination, somebody could be, be terminating. Uh, really, really focused on their money, focused on their job, doesn't really want a partnership. Now, that could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. This could be the other side. Um, I feel as though you, I, I really feel like this is the other side. I do. I feel like this is the other side because I feel as though you are headed in the right direction. I feel like you're you're going through a period of growth. You're going through a period of enlightenment. I feel like you are being recognized for who you are. I think you have a lot of peer people cheering you on. You have a lot of supporters. I feel like um, you're receiving something. You're receiving some sort of uh, gift or some sort. You, you, I mean, the Six of Pentacles reversed is receiving, you know, receiving, giving, give and take. You're receiving something because of all that you've given, you know. you're Now you're in receipt of some sort of new beginning okay because the sun card is a new beginning and it's an it, it is a beautiful new beginning you may be glowing during this time i do feel as though uh somebody that you are dealing with is not happy this person uh doesn't have morals you know this person whoever you're dealing i feel like that is their side I feel like somebody is looking for money. It's all they care about is money, is financial stability. They don't, they, they're not interested in a relationship or a partnership. They, they sleep around. You're dealing, you know, you're dealing with somebody that may sleep around. Um, again, that could be your energy, but I really don't feel like it is. I feel as though you're getting something that you deserve and it, and it's, a, and it's really, it's really a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. I feel like this week you're going to be happy. I feel like you're going to be in your glory for some reason there could be this is like the birth of a new life for you okay and it's interesting because these two are exactly the opposite with one in reversed okay um i feel like you're getting some sort of recognition this week you're getting recognition for your work or recognition for your generosity you know um you're definitely headed in the right direction and it feels like you're on top of the world. It feels like this is a very, very happy time for you. Extremely happy. Um, but, I mean, somebody is extremely happy here. Whether it's you or the other person. We have somebody that is, is absolutely being recognized. They are right in their glory. And they're getting exactly what they deserve. They're getting some sort of payout by the looks of things. Could be a herit inheritance could be a gift. I don't know. Somebody is getting uh, is something. They're getting something that they deserve. Um, but the overall energy between you and another person is is uh, some sort of strife because of that so of, two of swords. That is, uh, you know, there's some sort of difficult decision that needs to be made. We have a painful choice here. Somebody um, there's some sort of opposition. There's some sort of fear. Somebody's been living in denial. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been blocking their emotions. I feel like there's there's blocking here, blocking the truth, ignoring the truth. So I th feel like that's the, you know, that's what's going on right now. I feel like there's there's ignorance here. Somebody is, it's almost like pretending that this could work out, pretending that this could last, but it couldn't. You need to open your eyes. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Okay. Um, the emperor taking charge somebody is about to take charge the advice is to take charge it is to make a plan and follow through that is your advice for the week you are, it feels like there's a chapter that is over in your life and you've been in denial about it. You know, there's somebody that is in denial. They're in denial. They need to, they need to open their eyes and see. They need to see that what is happening 
is the truth. You know what I'm saying? I feel like whoever you're dealing with may have gotten into a relationship with somebody else. I don't know if they've gotten somebody pregnant or something like that and they're having a or they're in they're terminating it or or something like that. It could be somebody that they work with, somebody that they they knew from a from a while back that but they weren't they weren't planning on getting in this type of relationship so you know they weren't planning on getting in a commitment right away and so they they don't want to have a baby or something like that I feel like I feel like uh, there is some sort of disconnection here between a mother and a child okay there's or there, or a loss of a child somebody maybe giving up a child or something like that um, I also feel like there's moving. Somebody may be moving. They may be changing homes with that Ten of Pentacles. There could be a change on the home front. But I feel like uh, somebody is getting exactly what they deserve with that Six of Pentacles. You know, getting, they're going to be receiving something very, very good with that Sun card. It's something very, very beautiful, very warm, very loving, very, um, well, abundant. This whole lineup is pretty abundant. Um, headed towards success, making progress. I think there's definitely some public recognition as well. So somebody's being publicly recognized for their generosity, for their kindness. I don't know who it is, and that certainly won't be for everybody, but there is some sort of public recognition and being cheered on, being con congratulated or something like that. Um... Somebody could be getting a gift as well with these two cards. Some, or all three of them. Somebody may be getting a gift, and it could be you. You could be getting a gift, a gift of a new life, because the Sun card is the beginning of a new life. So this is this is a yes, okay, and this is a yes as well. So you have a yes answer here. The answer is yes. It's time. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for your new life. You're, this, you're about to get exactly what you deserve. But you may need to uh, separate from whoever this other person is. You're dealing with somebody that um, probably isn't very loving. This person isn't loving. They, they lack morals by the looks of things. I think this person lacks morals. They, they like to play it safe. You know, they like the financial security, they like financial stability, but that's it. They're, they're not somebody that you can trust. I feel like you need to, you know, um, basically face the music, you know, with the Seven of Swords reversed. Accept the truth, see the truth. And I feel like there's been denial. I feel like the, the, the connection between you and two, somebody's been getting crumbs. They haven't been getting very much and there's denial and thinking that, you know, things are going to work out. You've got to, you got to be able to see it for what it is. Um, I do see a positive change that is coming. Okay. The main challenge between the two of you, whoever this is about is that it's over and you need to accept it. Something is over. Okay, this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. Accept that there's a new beginning here. There's a positive new beginning. Um, I feel like you're moving in a new direction. You are progressing forward. You are... Um, you have a lot of support. You do. I feel like you are also headed towards somebody that is very, very protective. Somebody that will take care of you. Somebody that um, will is ready to settle down, that wants to settle down. I feel like you are... Um, needing to take ownership of your own life you're needing to take the lead you're needing to uh, set goals you're needing to make a plan and you're needing to follow through with the plan I feel like you need to take charge you need to get organized you need to get structured you need to be the boss of your own life but I also have to let you know that that you are headed towards something stable you are headed towards a person it looks like that is especially if you're single I mean if you're single I feel like you are headed towards somebody that is very very um, experienced this person is experienced they are um, very very capable of taking care of you so somebody is is uh 
and they're also headed towards somebody towards a beautiful connection it's it's very 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 beautiful um so anyway this week we have some sort of breakthrough for you i believe it's for you i think that you are going to be glowing i think that you're going to be in your glory i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention as well and i don't know why but i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention I think that you're going to be looking very, very good as well. Um, you're definitely making progress. You're headed in the right direction. Um, some of you are, you may be starting your own business. You may be drawing up plans. You may be uh, making plans. Maybe you're making plans to move to a warmer place. I'm just going right here. Okay, that'll line up. You know, you may be making plans to move or something like that. Um, I do see a separation here, a separation from somebody that is not very loving, somebody that isn't very kind, you know, um, and I don't know who it is. It could, it's somebody that doesn't support you. So I do see a disconnection. Um, this, it's like the end of a relationship and, and I, I, you know, maybe it's a, it could be a job, but it is the end because tens are completions. So I do see the end of a relationship in which you may have been in denial about. You may be in denial. It's not thinking that it's over. It is over. This cycle is over. This season is over. Okay. Especially with the wheel of fortune, you need to accept it. Okay. You need to accept it. So however that resonates with you, I feel like this week you are, uh, your life is changing. Some positive change is coming. Life is always changing. You might find yourself at the right place at the right time. And you may run into somebody that um, really opens your eyes, you know, and helps you. You may run right, I mean, literally run right into somebody. Like smack dab, like run into somebody. So you may run into somebody that... Um, really sees your your beauty you know something like that um and it feels like you're literally run into this person something to do with a house as well because we this this wheel the spin is spun on house and this is how some of you may be moving into a new house or making plans to buy a house or there could be a change on the home front i do feel like there's going to be a celebration an upcoming celebration in the near future could be two months um, could be sooner. Um, six of pentacles, receiving something that you deserve. That's what's happening. You are being blessed. You're being blessed with something very, very positive, a reward. You're going to get a reward but there's some sort of pain that comes before the reward. It's the pain of separation, okay? So it is, because this is pain and this is separation. So you are separating from somebody that doesn't know their value. This person is, uh, maybe if it's a man, if you're separating from a man, this man does not value women. Okay, does not value women. This this man does not respect women, you know, and that's who you're separating from. If you are the man watching this, you are separating from a woman that sleeps around. You're separating from a woman that doesn't care who she hurts. This is somebody who needs constant attention, you know, and isn't really looking for you know, a long-term relationship, looking for some sort of payoff, looking for money or some sort of attention. So yeah, it's like you you need to separate from this individual who has no intention of getting into a long-term relationship. And I feel like that's what you want. You want a long-term relationship. If you are coupled and you are watching this, I feel like if you are coupled and you are happy, then you probably shouldn't be watching this. I feel like um, there is some sort of recognition in running into somebody that really makes you happy, you know? So I don't know if it's a new job offer or what, whatever is coming. It's very, very positive. This week is the new beginning. It's the end of a cycle of living in denial and not seeing something as well. That cycle is over. The cycle of 
pain. I think that you have been in some sort of pain and you are about to go through a period of healing, deep, 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 deep healing with that sun card. It's a very healing energy and vibrating at a higher level. So I feel like this week you are really going to be shining. It's almost like famous here. You know, you are really going to be in the limelight of, in some way. And I feel like you're going to run into somebody that, uh, and I mean literally run into somebody. It's like you're not looking where you're going. It's like you may be looking back at something and you run into this person and this person is awestruck, you know, that kind of thing. Um, My advice for you this week is to make a plan for your future. Write it down. Tell the universe what you want. Be honest with yourself. Wheel of Fortune, positive change is coming. This is the end of a cycle where there was a lack of love. You are about to be loved, whatever the hell that means. Good luck.